Oliveira, and Alexander the Great, Volkanovski. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder, but now it's felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill for winning a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now they're all chasing the book, man, Alexander Volkanovs. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Bonanoski. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of. 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles do Bronx Oliveira! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, First words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the body. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Well, he told us on Thursday you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it, it's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Oliveira. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Volkanovski. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkanovski. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliver. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. So 31 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. That uppercut landed. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He gets to his spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knees go. Able to land a combination there. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see something, you counter and react on it, and it makes the takedown much easier. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Bolton. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two now, folks. Charles Oliveira and Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, nice punch there by Volkanovsky. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch is blocked. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Volkanovski's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Oliveira. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oliveira's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Volkanovski. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Hard scramble, hard scramble. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. He's having his way with him here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oliveris going for the sub here.
He's gonna tag Armbar here. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to his feet. Volkanovski gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ten oh, minutes wow. in the books. Oh, we're getting a finish here. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Oliveira. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after two. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set up in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. 85 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, certainly picking the spots well tonight, landing with 64% accuracy against Charles Oliveira. This might just be a matter of time. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Plus right hand is true. Under two minutes to go. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done, we're off in the night. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Outstanding kick there by both as effective as it is, one gets checked on the Anderson Silva situation. Big leg kick land. Just misses with the right hook. Effective punch there by Volkanovski. And now he's got that tight reach. Taking it down now as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Closed guard. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Settle down. Listen, you are taking way too much damage to the body, man. All right? 
Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. That knee might have landed there. Another combination of knees. Another knee landed by Volkanovski. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with, you'll see very short. Oh, nice knees by a man. He does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons tonight. He is using those knees to slow down his opponent. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and another knee by Volkanovski. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. And a nice job. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Oh! Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. Down into his mouth. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good work from the top here by Oliveira. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 20 seconds to go. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oliveira's right back to the full mount. Hey, stop. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well, he's got his back now. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Volkanovski's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Gotta be careful, armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. The final horn sounds. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Alexander the Great Bononovsky. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won.